Hey everybody, so you've heard some really good insights there from the team and I want to pick up on a couple of them. Um, but the first thing I want to say to you is, is about today and to have fun and enjoy the brief because I, I've just read the brief this morning and, and that's a brief I'd really like to work on for two reasons. One, the importance of the impact on the environment, but two, it's a really interesting creative challenge. So let's have a little chat about why it's a, an interesting creative challenge and what some of the pitfalls could be that you could fall into and how we can help you navigate them. I think first thing that you might want to do is awareness. Even though we've said behavioural change a few times, there's a lot of interesting facts you've been given this morning. But we're not trying to create awareness. We're trying to create activation. We want to change people's behaviour so they actually do something about it. And that's the important bit. So my advice to you is, when you look at the brief, start at the end. So that might sound strange, but what is it you want people to do? And if you have that at the front of your mind as you tackle it, I'm sure you're going to come up with some great ideas. My next point on it is, is with the last word I just said, ideas. We're all trained to think in advertising, but my advice to you is think in ideas here. It may not be a traditional press ad. It may not be a film. A lot of the good pieces of behavioral change or activation are ideas. And the reason they're good is because they're scalable. So think about your audience. And you are the audience. Every one of, in the, of us in this room are the audience. So to bring your own personal influences into this. I want to make sure the world's a better place. I want to be behaving a better way. But as some of the barriers we've just seen, we don't. So how do we tackle them? Let's think about some great commercials and ideas that are out there already. And I'm going to talk to you about a few, which you can Google in your teams. I'd rather you do that together in your small team than, than put it up in the big screen. So we, we heard people talk about, we don't want to be lectured by our council. And that made me think of a, one of the most award pe winning pieces of work that's, that's out there, which is Dumb Ways to Die. Is everybody aware of that? So target audience there, teenagers. They definitely don't like being told what to do. And that piece of work actually got teenagers to tell other teenagers what to do. And when you look at it like that, it's, it's an amazing piece of behavioral change. And the way they did for that is through entertainment. So we've just seen about emotional connection. And I would talk in your groups about what emotion do you want to connect with? What tone of voice? So there's loads of ways you'll, you'll go about this. And sometimes you might go about it with shock because what we're doing isn't right. And I want you to ask yourself the question, would that resonate with you? You might go about it with empowerment, which is encouraging people to do things and showing them it's possible. And again, in your groups, is that the way that you will respond? So think about your emotional tone of voice. How is your idea talking to your audience and how is it encouraging them, not just to change their behavior, but to act? When you come to judging and choosing your ideas, is it clear? Has it got clarity? Is it easy for the audience to not just know what to do, but want to do it? And then I think the difference between good and great is, is it scalable? So how easy is it for that idea to get viral, to share, for people to want to get on board with? And that doesn't necessarily always mean on social media. It can mean about talking to your friends in the pub, in a bus. It's about getting in the vernacular. It's becoming part of culture. And if you think about that, becoming part of culture, that comes back to my opening point. It doesn't have to be an advertising idea. It just needs to be a good idea. And the team and ourselves will be looking at which one of those will be sticky and can resonate with the audience to create change. So when you go back to, with your groups and start talking, there's two pieces of work that have, have done what we want you to do to the audience, to me personally. And the first one, I'm going to have to swear, sorry, because of the name of it, but there's a piece of work you can find on YouTube called Fuck the Poor. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about it and why it resonated with me. We all go past charity people with clipboards in the street every day, and every one of us ignore them, even though we care about the people they're talking about. We don't want people to suffer, yet we're busy and we're, we go about our lives. So they flip that on the head. And this is a really good way of connecting on the psychological level. Instead of having, you know, help the poor, there was a guy stood with a sandwich board on shouting, fuck the poor. And as you can imagine, it caused a reaction. Lots of people stopped, lots of people engaged, lots of people got into conversation. When the film ran through, it actually stopped by saying, see, you do care. And it showed you our behavior. It was a mirror to society, it was a mirror to us as individuals. We walk past these people every day and we do care, but we don't do anything. 
So when we spike that emotion, it helps us have a look at our own behavior in a way that we want to change it. The second one, and there's a couple of people in the audience that are probably bored of me talking about this one because I've done it when I've worked with them before, but this is called Bury My Bentley, and this has had the biggest impact on me. So this was about organ donation. And we all know that we need to make sure we help people survive and, and donate organs where we can. There's a famous, quite eccentric um, parliament member in Brazil who, who told the whole news that he was going to bury his, his pride and joy, his Bentley, and it caused our war on social media. Everybody was talking about what an idiot this guy was. It, like, the, the amount of tweets and posts got a lot of attention. He invited all of the media to his home on the day of the burial where he was going to bury his car. And the moment the car hit the, the burial point, he stopped and invited everyone into his house. And his point for doing this was, he was never going to bury his car, but every day, millions of us bury something far more valuable, which is our organs. So I went from going, this guy's a dickhead, and then my finger turned round and I was pointing at myself because I wasn't an organ donor. And that day I changed my behavior. So that's the power of an idea. That's the excitement of the brief you've got in front of all of you today. But have fun, make sure your message is clear, ask yourself in a group, what emotion are we talking to? Who are we talking to? And where is the best place for to, to reach those people? Once you have all of those down, you're gonna have a good idea. The difference between good and great, to re repeat myself, is is that scalable? Because the more people we can get on board, the more we can take this idea and make it out there in the world, the better the impact can be. So have fun, we're all about to support you. And um, I, I quite fancy to go myself, it's a great brief. Thank you.